Guys, our friends at Ridge have done it again. After creating the world's greatest wallet, they have now launched the Ridge key case. You no longer have to be bulked down by your old jangling keychain. You gotta try it out for yourself. Click on the link in the description below. Use the promo code CHAIL, that's gonna get you 10% off. And look how good it goes with my Ridge wallet. The Ridge key case secures between two and six keys. It organizes your keys in a compact silhouette and folds out for easy access. There are six colors and styles, including carbon fiber and my favorite, burnt titanium. The Ridge team is so confident that you like it, they're gonna let you test drive it for 45 days. If you don't love it, send it back, get a full refund. Go to ridge.com slash chale to save 10% today or just click on the link below. What if Alex Pierre wins? In fact, let me ask it a little bit different. If Alex Pierre wins, does that mean he's a better fighter than Israel Adesanya? Now, don't smash this in my face and think that's redundant and obvious. If he fights him and he beats him in a fight, then yes, he's a better fighter. Oh, but hold on. There is a little bit more to this. And let me have you look at it from a different perspective. We know that Adesanya can beat everybody else. I mean, if we go look at, we've already seen it, right? Been a pretty active guy, been around for a while. Not only winning fights, dominating fights, dominating decisions. I mean, he, he four rounds, very commonly. He'll win four rounds of a five round fight. Very dominant guy, okay. But let's take that same field and let's apply it to Piera. Do you think that Piera could go through the field, even the exact same field? The, the schedule that, that Izzy's already kept, the record that Izzy already has, we'll just go grab those guys. Do you think that Piera could take out Yoel Romero? Do you think that Piera could deal with Derek Brunson? Do you think that Piera could beat Robert Whitaker? Oh, by the way, just in case he catches him. Twice. Do you think he could do that twice? Now that's a monumental, that's a monumental no from me. If you, Guerra versus Whitaker, I'm going Whitaker. Now, before I go bet a whole bunch of money and really put, you know, put my money where my mouth is, before we do that, you then tell me, oh, by the way, Chael, for this bet, twice. I'm going to be very confident in telling you Robert Whitaker. Just my feeling. I mean, I would be very confident in Robert Whitaker. If he went out and he got caught somewhere right, I mean, it's a little dangerous, so I, I couldn't part with too much. But if you threw that caveat on there, I, I don't think so. I may not know enough about Piera to come to that conclusion. I'm just asking what you think, right? We can't prove it. It's just a feel inside. What do you think? So if Piera was to beat Adesanya, is it really a redundant question to ask, is Piera better than Adesanya? I have a feeling they're going to fight in one realm. And it's a realm they've already fought in. So if Pierre can land that big shot or Izzy can move around, we know who won between them. Would we know who the better fighter is? We're not going to see the groundwork. We're not going to see other things. There's certain threats that nearly every opponent on that roster is going to bring. Whether they succeed or not, they're going to bring the tool with them. They're going to exhaust many different options that I think is very unlikely to see from Izzy and Pierre. I'm, I, I'm just blocked, guys. I'm, I'm just blocked, and I can't even hear any different. That this is going to be a stand-up fight. They're going to go out the third time. Many people, hey, this is a first-time fight. New sport, new time, different experiences. This is all brand new. I don't tell you you're wrong. I just tell you, I really believe we're just going to see a stand-up fight. Now, that's a little bit naive of me, considering the last time that we had two great strikers fight in a main event for a world championship was Surreal and Francis, and we, we saw the takedowns. So I'll fully admit that I, I don't know everything. I just see it this way, and I feel like one thing's going to be displayed, which is their stand-up abilities, which, by the way, they're both awesome at. But we're not going to see an all-around fight. And what would you think of that? If Piero was to grab the belt, what an incredible accomplishment. He would then be undefeated. 
People forget that Pierre has never lost. Like, that's not, we don't really bang that drum because he only had five fights. And I understand that. I understand that's not a whole lot. But if those five fights included number one contenderships and led you to a main event at Madison Square Garden for the strap, you're undefeated. It's been done. And sure, we would have a whole dialogue. Well, who's going to be next? You know, who, who's the top guy in line? And how are we going to... I understand those things, but do you... Are you confident that Piera would defend that belt? Are you confident he could do it multiple times? Do you believe that Piera could go out there and beat Paulo Costa at all? I'm not saying he's going to do what Izzy did, which is to dominate him, never be touched, and finish the fight inside of two. I'm saying, do you think he could beat him? It's a very peculiar question. We haven't seen enough. And if you go back and you watch Pierre's fights, okay? Now, again, there's only five of them. It's not going to take you very long to do. But if you do, you're going to believe that you also see the blueprint to beat him. You're going to see some guys whose wrestling and jujitsu accolades are not as shiny and bright as the top contenders. And you're going to see them have good moments. So you're going to say, well, you know, if you, I, I get a guy a little bit better at this and can get him down, I get a guy a little bit better than this and can score some points when he gets there, and I get a guy, I mean, that's the way that our minds work. However, I'll just remind you, that's also what we saw with Adesanya. Adesanya's first fight in the UFC, okay, there's the recipe. Well, his second opponent saw that but couldn't enact it. The third opponent had the skills, this is going to be a problem. But we saw the growth of Izzy. Is there any reason we should believe that Pierre isn't also growing? Is there any reason that I should be telling you that this is a stand-up fight because it's all that they know? And even if I'm wrong, I'm right to say it because I'm using history as my trajectory and he's never attempted a takedown. Well, you know, it, it was five fights. What do I know about this guy? I watched Izzy grow in front of our eyes in rapid time. I mean, the story on him was take him down and keep him there. In his next fight, you could take him down. You couldn't keep him there. He didn't solve both problems, but he solved one of them, and he solved it completely. That's rare. That takes a really long time to do. But by his third fight, he then solved them both. You couldn't take him down. We saw that you couldn't keep him there. You go in to the Gatslam fight. That got tested to the point that at times he didn't stop it. He was dead and he got back up. One time he threw up a triangle and tried to submit him. I mean, it blew everybody's mind. Now that would be normal. Everything that Izzy did against Calvin Gaslam would be a normal fight that you would see from guys. But he used tools that we didn't know he had. That's what made it abnormal. That's what helped to add to it. It made it fight of the night. It made it fight of the year. It wasn't just that Izzy threw up a failed triangle attempt. It's that it's a kickboxer that doesn't know at all what he's doing on the ground. I mean, I know that for sure. 12 months ago, I saw him there and he was lost. Oh my goodness, this guy got better that quick. Is there a chance? I mean, is there a chance that Pierre is really working on a takedown? He's going to surprise him. I mean, this is a built-in overlap of my statement. The built-in overlap is that these guys as egos would not allow them to go out there and get a takedown. Now, that's something you say. That's something you bring to the crowd. After it worked or after it didn't. Right? Like the loser would say, well, you know, I could have taken him down under the unmember rules. Of, of course, I have an advantage. And I, I could, but that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to come test it right here. Right? We, we, we hear a lot of that. But it is very curious. It's not as though Pierre is not working on takedown. I've been in Glover's rooms, just by example. I've trained with Glover. I, I just tell you, they work on everything. They will go, oh, you're a great kickboxer, and let's just sharpen it. They'll work on everything. Is it something that he's confident enough that he wants to try? Where does that ego factor fit in? And would, what would that prove? I mean, I, I know guys get things in their head all the time, but what would that prove? I stood with them. I didn't trade. You didn't follow the rules. You, you, you didn't do everything that you could do. The teacher said it was an open book test. You failed the test, but you think that I care that you never opened the book? That you tried a different parameter? That you somehow have the moral high ground because you only went off? What's up here? It's strange. 
But what do you guys think? I, I do want to circle back just to one question. I love your comments. I, it's, it's very sincere when I ask you something. P Excuse me. Adesanya has ran through the field. Been a very busy guy. Been around long enough. Took on the right guys. I mean, you go look at that field. You go look, go look at those top top names. You're going to see a lot of guys who've already fought Adesanya. Some of them, twice. Do you think that Piera could do that? And even if you're somebody that believes Piera is going to win, do you think Piera can get through the guys? Do you think he could defend? Do you think he can hold on to that belt as long as Izzy has?